Welcome back to another one. Today, we're gonna burn. Today, we've got this. Firewater Inferno. Now I want to thank Steve from Native Strength and Iron Nutrition for sending this out to me for review. <coughs> Fuck. All right, let's blast through this label real quick. Okay, we got citrulline malate at three grams. It's a little low. We got creatine monohydrate at three grams. Okay, I spoke about this before. I would rather creatine nitrate in the pre-workout if it had to go in there. Uh, unless you're going to be taking this every day, then, you know, I find creatine mono in a pre-workout quite pointless. Pink Himalayan salt at 400 milligrams. Caffeine at 300 mil. Vitamin C. Lion's mane at 200 milligrams. A couple more vitamins there. Then we have the standout ingredient here, which is chili zine. Now, in the original, the chili zine was 150 milligrams. It blasted up to 500 milligrams here. So, that is going to be a spicy meat the ball. I actually thought the, the chili could have been upped a little bit on the fire water. So, it's cool that they have, and they really upped it, you know, 500 mil from 150. Um... So that's quite a difference. This should be pretty spicy. All right, first up, let's do the cat test. Claude, you up for it? Oh, he's tired. You tired? Come on, boy. We got work to do. There we go, Claude. Okay, I'm gonna get head right in. I think he liked the previous one too. So that's a pass. So. As before, with the OG fire water, looking at the label, I would double it. I would double dose this. Then you'd have your 6 grams of citrulline, 600 mil of caffeine, 400 lion's mane, but then you do run the risk then of the whole gram of chili zine. So that's what we're going to do. In... There we go. There we go. Okay, that's fucking fizzy. That's fizzing, Claude. Smell. Oh, I mean, listen. Listen. Oh, that's really nice. Mmm. It's hot. It's it's literally like you've um, just eaten something with chili on it. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to take a heartburn tablet now in a minute. Well, it's a nice sensation and a really good flavor. So top marks there. That's close to a nine on the flavor. Now, I wouldn't go into the gym on one scoop of this because it's just not going to, it's just not going to fuel the workout as much as I would like it to. I've tried it. You know, it's just not strong enough for the gym at one scoop. But at two scoops, this is uh, this is new for me. So two scoops, we're going to see what the fuck this is about. All right, let's get out of here for a bit. Do a bit of outdoor stuff. Make use out of this sun. Alright, let's have a talk about fire water inferno, shall we? Eee, shit. This field is fucked. I'm sinking every step. Oh shit. I'm gonna stay in my shoes. So just as I uh just as I thought, two scoops definitely the way to go. One is just not gonna be strong enough. Yeah, the whole label makes much more sense when you double the dosages. It just does. So that's what I would recommend. One scoop if you just want to get on with your day. If you want to, you know, need a nice little kickstart to get out the door. Uh, and then two scoops then if you want to do some training. God, it's such a cold day, but it really... I feel warm. 
it tastes good but that chili zine that really makes a difference it makes it a different experience when you drink it so it gets high marks there uh, you know it's a daily driver there's no doubt about that all right let's get the fuck out of here it's starting to get a bit cold now i think the the thermogenic effects of the chili zine are wearing off literally freezing out and you know, i felt pretty warm for for a good 40 minutes so that actually says a lot for the thermogenic effect of that all right let's get back down to the gym Hit the weights for a little bit Let's see what the pumps are like on this. All right, that's the end of that. So, quick summary. It's not a mind-blowing pre-workout, but it's a decent daily driver. And, you know, it's got a great flavor. It's something that I would like to drink first thing in the morning, all the time. You know, it's, it's that pleasant. It's not overpowering. Uh, it's a little bit too clean for me personally. But at two scoops, then you start feeling a difference. You get, uh, you're getting a lot more caffeine. You're getting that 600 milligrams. It's not jittery, so it's not one for the hard gym goers, but definitely uh, one for beginners, perhaps. And like I said, it, it's good for anybody if you just want to start your day with something, uh, something not too strong, but something that'll give you a pleasant little kick in the morning. Good for a winter morning where where it's it's cold. That thermogenic effect did actually work. Energy, I'd say maybe a seven. Pumps also around about a seven. It's not the best pre-workout, but it's not the worst. And you know it's got some interesting factors. Claude, do you have to shit just before I start the fucking video?